and you have to deal with the evidence. You can't depend on someone's anecdotal report that drug X cures disease Y. So we have a pyramid. We have a, a level that begins with individual observations about a patient or relationships about a chemical entity that may be clues to its potential action in humans. Now that would induce investigators to do controlled clinical trials. That would then lead to larger studies, and in America what we call phase three, that is big studies that would demonstrate the safety and the efficacy of a drug entity. Beyond that, we then have large articles which review the field and put that individual drug or compound in its context. In other words, which anticonvulsant works in which conditions, etc. So you now are up near the top of the pyramid, and at the top is in America what we call Cochrane reviews or systemic reviews of the topics, which reviews all the data. In cannabis, at this time, we have reached the peak, the top of the pyramid for the use of cannabis to treat symptoms associated with multiple sclerosis and for treating nausea and vomiting of cancer plus anorexia. I'll repeat that. We have gotten to the peak. We have demonstrated efficacy for those conditions in humans. We have documented evidence submitted to regulatory agencies in the United States, Canada, Europe. So we have everything you need to essentially eliminate that statement. There has never been a study with cannabis that demonstrated any therapeutic use. That is totally wrong. 